Hi everyone, Joe for Jaspi's CaseBreaks.com coming at you with 2024 Tops Series 1 Baseball. Six box jumbo, pick your team number eight. No vet common ship, everything else does. Hits, inserts, rookie cards, parallels, variations obviously, all that good stuff. Big thanks to this group for making it happen here on the 14th. Happy Valentine's Day everybody. Thanks for uh, giving us the love. Giving Series 1 the love. William giving the Tigers a little love, Last Spot Mojo. Here's everybody else. Thank you, everyone, for making this happen. I appreciate you. Now, if you're watching live, pick your team nine. is down to six teams left. If it sells out by the time I finish this break, I'll do it. If not, then we'll, we'll roll it over till tomorrow. And that would be the last break of our night if, that, if number nine ends up happening. Um, also, if you're watching live, pick your team 10. Just load it up, fresh case. That might be our last case of series one for now. Until we get more. We're looking for one autograph and two relic cards in every jumbo box on average. Silver packs have a chance at, um, also have a chance at autographs and numbered cards. We'll do collect all of those, keep all of those right on top of there. You can see it on the top camera above my head and then we'll rip all of those and do all of those all, at, all together at the end. And I feel like teams are moving fast in Pick Your Team 10 already. Already down to 26 teams, and I just posted that just a couple minutes ago. Now, if Pick Your Team 9 does not sell out, oh shoot, you know what I forgot to do? I forgot to put that flawless into a random number block. I'll do it after this break. It's too late, I already started this break. I should have done it. I'll ask Nick if he can do it. All right, so the ESPN basketball game tonight is uh, Clippers at Warriors. For whatever it's worth, I am on the, uh, the Clippers as Road Dogs, plus three and a half. Had a pretty good day today. I was, I am of the, of the six matchups, I already have, I'm already three wins in. So I could break even tonight, a little, that's a little under even tonight. If I do. Or actually over even, because I did hit my, I don't do props very often, but I'll always, if, if available, I'll always do a Wemby blocks and steals parlay. Wemby, at least three blocks, at least one steal. He had that tonight exactly on the number, plus 147. Anyone in this break watching live? There's Kyle Schorber, piece of the lumber, going to the Phillies. That's for Michael G. 
Am I going solo on this break? Am I just talking to myself on this one? Everyone's over it. Everyone's over series one today. I'm like, Joe, you do this one by yourself. We'll do a recap at the end of this too. Your key rookies here, as you probably know by now, Ellie De La Cruz, Evan Carter, uh, Jason Dominguez, Junior Caminaro, who's only in the, that 1989 design. These base league leaders cards will just evenly distribute between these three teams. Yes. Oh, nice. And Otani is here, 34 out of 75. Nice, 1989, Taylor edition. Taylor version to 75. Nice Otani for the Angels. Kenneth. Oh, Joshua is here. Nice, Josh. Josh, you might be lagging behind the stream just by a little bit. If you want to hit that live button, make sure you're caught up. But nice. Joshua is here. He has the A's in this one, I think. Maybe another team? No, just the A's in this one. Good luck. Castro. First off, I think I saw there's a Jason Dominguez. Obviously, Michael were Michael G has the uh, Yankees. Obviously, we're looking for parallels, maybe even autos of that guy, but his base rookie cards will get the uh, sleeve and top load treatment. Our sorting and shipping team will take care of that. Hey, relics and autographs I'll take care of right here, right away. Here's George Kirby for the uh, Seattle Mariners, Ross with the Mariners. Ellie Dela Cruz. It's Tristan with the Reds in this one. Let's see if we can find some some there as well. Oh, yep, I see you with the Marlins. Marlins and A's. Good luck. Oh, and there's an Owen White, Rangers. Jeremy Smith with the Rangers. Not numbered, but nice baseball stars autograph. Really like the design this year, ladies and gentlemen. I'm a fan of it. Uh, if anyone has a subscription to the Athletic, I uh, uh, they did an interview with the head of marketing, I think, as well as the uh, the lead designer of this uh, of this set. So, worth a read. It's a nice little Q&A. Jonathan India, Cole Reagans, Kershaw back with the Dodgers. There's a Dane Myers to 2024 for the Marlins. That's for Josh. And there's a Junior Caminero for the Rays. And that 89 design, that's going to be 
for EA and the Rays. Let's try to find some numbered cards of his EA. I know he's had them for a few, the Rays for a number of breaks. Maybe some, find some substantial Rays in here. See those silver packs right, right over there on the top camera, and right over here on your front camera. I Lou ejected from the game. All right, and I think Nick, thank you, Nick, he helped me out. He, uh, he put that flawless into a filler, so that random number block is loaded up. So we bundled up all the teams, average out the price. We're selling blocks of numbers, so we're turning into a serial number break instead. It's $149.99 a spot, and there's a free spot giveaway. So we're only selling out nine spots outright. Randomize those nine names, someone's going to get an extra spot. So that's certainly something we can do tonight, unless that series one number nine sells out. Which is actually down to four teams, so maybe someone does, maybe we do want to do another case to close out the night. We got Randy Arozarena, Major League Material. That'll be for EA and the Rays. That one is number twelve out of seventy-six. Nice. I like that. I like the, the 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 flag design this year. The previous years just was just like a red border and stars, but we actually got the stars and bars, the flag kind of waving in the background for a Canadian team. That's going to be for Darren and the Blue Jays. That, that looks like it could be a variation, right? Does that look different? Aaron with the Braves. It might be different. Usually everyone's in, in some sort of um, some sort of motion in the field. It's got to be a variation, I think, unless those 89 cards look like that. But here, here, his hat is clearly backwards. He's got sunglasses on top of his head. It's more like an all-star game, exhibition game, something like that. Wow. 
Rex laying it on thick. Nick is the best, the greatest. I love that guy a lot. Uh, he's not going to give you a free spot, Rex. Sorry. He won't give you a free spot in that flawless. Wait, Rex, are your Cubs still available in Pick Your Team 10? I loaded it up. Get your Cubs. $24.99. Where's Gilo? Gilo, get your Royals. Royals $19.99. What players have a sketch card in this? Are there sketch cards for these players this year? That I do not know. Here's Merrill Kelly, the 2024 for Ross and the Diamondbacks. Um, there's the checklist in the chat. Hector or others, if you want to take a look, maybe see if there are any kind of sketch cards. Wow, you're offended. You never try to weasel your way into a free spot. These will just be um, the base version. We'll evenly, if there's, I mean, there's probably multiple of these cards, we'll try to evenly split them between the Angels and the Dodgers. If there's a, like a foil card or a numbered card, we will randomize that to uh, one team at the end of the break. Oh, there's a Seiya Suzuki Relic, EA and the Cubs. Gold Henry Davis is actually kind of nice. It's going to be for Hector and the... No, check that. It's going to be Chris and the Pirates. I think he was a former number one overall pick, maybe. But went to... Uh, I was going to say, I think he went to Louisville. I'm pretty sure he went to Louisville, which was the same... Uh, which is the same university that Dodgers catcher Will Smith went to. And Adley? No, Adley went to Oregon... Oregon? Oregon State. Adley was in Oregon. I don't know, but I feel like they... It's a lot like how Iowa produces uh, tight ends for the NFL. You know, I feel like, I feel like Louisville produces catchers for baseball. There's Trey Cabbage. Are we going with Cabbage? No, it can't be. It's got to be like Kabaj, right? Kenneth with the Angels. Well, if he becomes a regular starter, I'll get his name right. Nice, Rex. I don't know. I feel like we have... A, I haven't seen any significant um, Cubs. Right? And B... 20, 25 bucks for a full jumbo case isn't so bad. Pick your team. T nine is down to three. That could be our last break of the night. Pick your team 10 will most likely go off tomorrow. Now, Rex, you can... Uh, I don't know if that's going to... Well, we still have to do nine, and that's going to bring us to the end of the night. So even if that does fill, that'll go off tomorrow. There's Anthony Santander. Although I guess if it fills before nine, first to fill, first to break. Now, Rex, you can guilt our friend Gabe into getting the Royals next time you see him in the chat. It's EA and the Orioles. And you'd be like, hey, I got the Cubs. They're only they're 25 bucks. Your Royals are only 19 bucks. 19.99. Unless someone's taken the Royals already.
Wait, is that a variation of Evan Carter? Now I'm just losing my mind. Has he always been running in the in his picture? Maybe he has been. I thought I thought he was hitting in his picture. I don't know. I forget. Who knows? I guess burger and cabbage could go to, if it's pronounced cabbage. That would be a good uh, dual auto. I don't know. I'm more of a, if I'm making a burger, I'm putting a nice crisp leaf of iceberg lettuce on there, not a slice of cabbage. I feel like that. Although I suppose I've seen, if you want to go like shredded cabbage, you can use that as a burger topping. Yeah, just a leaf of cabbage. Doesn't, does not sound appealing to me. One of the best burger times beside cheese is French's fried onions. I'm not an onion guy on my burger. There's Manny Machado or anything really. Not on, not on sandwiches, not on a burger, not on a hot dog. Machado lumber going to Hector and the Padres. I like the, the flavor overpowers everything else. Nice yard on home field advantage. That's a cool shot. Um, that's like one per case, I think, generally. That's going to go to Chris Parent and the Astros. There you go, Chris. But the the fried ones for green bean casserole. Are great. Oh, 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 those are like the those are like the little the little crispy. Okay, I got it. Edwin Diaz with the team logo pattern around the card. I think these are pretty short printed too. Richard with the Mets. Hopefully he'll be he'll be he'll be healthy again, do his thing. 
And we've got a uh, Lourdes Guriel Jr. postseason relic. It's going to be for Ross and the Diamondbacks. He's a cold hearted snake. 49 out of 99. Look into his eyes. Uh oh, he's been telling lies. Yeah, I guess he's always running. Evan Carter's going to Jeremy and the Rangers. Let's see if we can find some numbered cards of his, maybe an autograph. A relic and autograph, Corbin Carroll. Woo! Nice, Ross, Diamondbacks, jersey and auto. And your reigning rookie of the year, Corbin Carroll. 23 out of 25, very nice. I mean, these jerseys, these are all, Item is <laughs> item is is game used, but it's not from the 2023 postseason. That's what that small print says. But it is game used. Jason Dominguez is going to Michael G. Teddy said earlier, I'll take him on a Valentine's Day date to, to Sizzler. Well, Teddy didn't realize that, uh, that uh, I have a date with you guys tonight and Series 1. Teddy's bad with scheduling. can't be counted on for scheduling. Also, no way I set foot inside a sizzler. Are there even sizzlers still around? Clippers have tied it up. They 14 2 run in the last 2 minutes and 45 seconds. I think they were down by 15 at some point. Outback or Applebee's? No, not setting foot inside one of those either. There's so much great uh, food in Los Angeles. Why would I go to a chain restaurant? Yeah, there, there's got to be a few left in L.A., right? Gosh, I haven't been to a Sizzler since I was 
A wee lad. I don't know if Sizzler was actually good back then, or if uh, it was just a cheap place for a family to go and get a steak. Or the food was, I feel like all those chain restaurants were probably good like, like the first few years of their existence. And when I guess once you start expanding and maybe the quality drops a little bit. It was Teddy's dream. Teddy needs to dream bigger. Teddy needs to dream a little bigger, I think. Oh, and there's Austin Wells, rookie auto for the Yankees in that 1989 design. For Michael G and the Yankees. Evan Carter for the Rangers. What a nice postseason. Max Muncy, Cooney Jr. Soderstrom, Soto, <laughs> bunk beds. Do they make like king size bunk beds, you think? What's the largest size mattress you, can, you think you can get for a bunk bed? This will also be like Teddy's like third move in like two years, something like that. Here's Ellie Della Cruz for Tristan and the Reds. Jeez, Norman Powell? Oh, this is also, I'm also watching the Clippers local broadcast, the LA network broadcast. I was like, why is this ESPN announcer getting so excited about the Clippers? Because it's also an ESPN game as well. Twin size has got to be max, right? I mean, unless you like, I suppose you can custom build a, a, uh, a larger bunk bed. That would it, that you can probably find a those a larger bunk bed in like some some fancy luxury Airbnb for influencers or something like that. There's a Ryan O'Hearn little color match there to two ninety nine. EA with the O's. And there's Paul Goldschmidt piece of his lumber. It's pretty good. I mean, if you can get one of those like. Adult size bunk beds, you better have like a like a spiral staircase going up to the top bunk or something like that. I think Warriors have been a little soft in the fourth quarter. They haven't been able to close games out. Austin Hayes Green to four ninety
Bryn White. Luis Arias to 2024 for the Marlins. That's for Joshua. Anthony Rizzo, piece of the lumber for Michael G. and the Yankees. All right, two boxes to go. Are we putting nine on the schedule? Two left. It's got to fill up by the end of these two boxes. Otherwise, we're going to push Pick Your Team nine to tomorrow. Another three for Norman Powell. There was a stat that said that Norman Powell, minimum 50 attempts in the fourth quarter, is shooting 50% from three, which is kind of ridiculous. Clippers are up 121-117 with less than two minutes left. I think they were still down by like double digit points at the start of the fourth quarter. I would have been happy with Clippers plus three and a half, but they're just gonna win outright. To put something on the money line. All right, second to last box. Good luck, everybody. Thanks for getting in. We might have a good chance of getting another one done tonight. Ooh, I think that's the first 1989 Ellie Dela Cruz card I've seen. Amir Coffee is for closers. Wow. Good Glen Gary Glen Roth reference by the Clippers announcer. That's going to be for Tristan and the Reds. And a Colton Kowser autograph for EA and the O's. Nice. Got the full black border on there, 19 out of 99. I think he's a top five pick. Fifth overall in the 2021 draft. Nice. So I think, has he played any major league baseball? Yeah, he had a cup of coffee. He only played 26 games. Um, but uh, hit 115, four RBIs, a couple doubles in about 61 at bat. But no, that's good that he's a cup of coffee because that usually, usually indicates him being maybe a starter possibly in the plans for being a starter next year. And let's see if he can deliver on that draft position. Um, sorry, I want to bring up those stats again. I think in, uh, do we have minor league stats for this guy? Triple A though, he, uh, in 323 at bats, about 87 games, Hit 300, 17 home runs in 87 games. Do the math on that, what that projects out. 62 RBIs, 18 doubles and a triple. 
Nine stolen bases. 937 OPS. Now, obviously, I'm not saying he's going to do that in the majors. Right? But I remember when Aaron Judge got a cup of coffee, he did not look very good in his limited time up with the big club. And the next year, laser show. I think I remember back then, Yankees fans, maybe I'm just making this up for the sake of a good story, but I feel like I remember there were some Yankees fans who wanted Aaron Judge traded in the offseason. Mount Castle 2024 for EA. And if this Clippers team stays healthy, I mean, could be, a, could be a dangerous team in the playoffs. William Contreras, 2024, and Miguel Cabrera, piece of the lumber, going to William and the Tigers, last spot, Mojo. 70% of the time, it's 100% of the time. Michael has the Brewers. And a green Christian Yelich. That's the four ninety nine. That's for Michael and the Brewers. Wow. That was a great play. Russell Westbrook put, puts up a mid-range jumper that clanks off the back of the rim. Amir Coffey dives in with the rebound. If the Warriors got it, they would have had, I don't know if they have timeouts, but they would have had like six or seven seconds left to run a play to tie the game at three. But instead, they're giving up free throws to James Harden. I think that's the ball game right there. Two possession game. And we've got a Riley Green relic, another one for the Tigers. Another relic for the Tigers. And they did have a timeout. All right, final box coming up.
Norman Powell, four for four from three in the fourth quarter. Jeez. All right, the final box. Good luck. It's the final countdown. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Kirby Puckett. Clippers beat the Warriors 130 to 125. Rounds out a pretty nice day for old Joe here. I got Charlotte plus six and a half. I went four for two today, plus a Wemby prop. Three blocks, one steal, parlay. Plus 147, put a unit on that. Got a half a unit, went four for two. Charlotte plus six and a half, Orlando minus three and a half, Memphis plus two and a half, Clippers plus three and a half. Hit those. Missed on Toronto money line and Utah minus five and a half. But I don't mind the Utah minus five and a half because my Lakers won. And we got a full black border Max Free to 73, who is, I believe, a local kid. Born in Santa Monica, makes his home in Studio City, and what high school did he go to, Michael Jaspi? Santa Monica. Harvard Westlake, exactly right. <laughs> With uh, Lucas Giolito and... Christian Yelich. Uh, no, Christian Yelich went to Taft, I think. Oh, really? No, he didn't. <laughs> I would know that if he did. Uh, Don't lie to me. <laughs> my friend Shira Samuel went to Taft. And my cousin went to Taft. And so that's that's the only person you know I know. Who else went to Taft? Jordan no. Farmer. Jordan Farmer? Yeah. That I did not know. You're talking about Taft in the Valley, right? That's right. The, that very Taft. Tarzana? Yep. Jewish neighborhood? Yeah. <laughs> so like I said, my friend Shira <laughs> Samuel went to went to Taft. I don't. I don't remember that third pitcher that went to. Uh, I think they were they were different years, but it was Max Fried, Lucas Giolito, and one other dude that were on the same high school at some point. But I think one of the guys are younger and was like a freshman and didn't really start, but still they still went to the same high school at the same time. Someone in the chat might help me out. Any baseball fans in the chat? Twenty out twenty five. Adley Rushman. That'll be for EA and the Orioles. What's the high school you said? I think it's Harvard Westlake. Jack Flaherty, that's who it was. He attended Harvard Westlake in Studio City. He was part of the Harvard Westlake baseball team that included Max Fried and Jack Flaherty. I'll have to look this up later. Let me finish off this box. But I'm pretty sure that, pretty sure that uh, one of those guys, there's like a few years difference between them, so I'm pretty sure that one of those guys didn't actually, they weren't all in the rotation at the same time, like their junior, senior year or anything like that. I don't think it was like that. Rex, what's up? Serious expert question. Am I the expert? DraftKings has both the Cubs and Cardinals at plus 185 for winning the NL Central. I'm not great with the plus and minus. How does that work with betting? Okay. So that essentially means you have to bet 
You have to bet $100, and then you win $185. That's what plus 185 means. So if you bet $10, you'll get 1850 back. You can kind of math it out that way. And it's reverse for minus 185. That usually means they're a big favorite. So you would have to bet 185 for just to just to win 100 bucks. There's if you Google it, Rex. There's a number of if you can if you want to think about it in a different way. If you Google it, I think there are calculators where you can punch that number in and it'll give it to you as a fractional. Um, as a fraction, I think most people are familiar with that. Nice Emerson Hancock for Ross and the Mariners. So that's basically, if you kind of round up to 200, plus 200 would be two to one, basically. Not numbered, but really nice, Ross. One of their, their big, uh, big prospects. Also, there are some sites where they'll, where they'll calculate the money line, as they call that, in the form of winning percentage. So that, that'll, that'll also kind of help wrap your head around that. There's Leo de Tavares to 2024. I don't know what plus 185 would be. I think plus 100 is like 50-50, right? So plus 185 would be like, they're saying they have like a 38% chance or whatever at, at winning the division. How do I do the unit bets? It's not necessarily a how as opposed to Everyone has different budgets, right? So if I'm like, you know, if I'm like Bezos and I'm betting, to me, putting $1,000 on a game Jeff, for Jeff Bezos would be nothing, right? But that doesn't mean we should put 1000 bucks on a game. You know, so it's easier just to represent, it's, I think it's just smarter and more responsible if we're talking about this sort of thing. It's still for entertainment, but it's still, it's, I think it's more responsible to talk about it in terms of unit sizes. So one unit means a certain dollar amount for me, and your one unit may mean a certain dollar amount for you, depending on your, your own bankroll and betting budget and whatever disposable income you set aside for, for sports gambling. Oh, and then Ellie Dela Cruz at the end. It's funny because the Cubs and Cards are 185. Yeah, I mean, that's sort of a representation. I mean, look at, compare that to the other divisions, Rex, because that kind of means that, you know, the book, they, they don't know who's going to win. Because, like, I think some books, it's it, it, like, Whoever the whoever they think is favorites actually like, will be like actually minus one fifty, and then second place would be like minus five hundred, and then last place or whatever would be like plus ten thousand or something like that. So the closer those numbers, the the I guess closer together those numbers are, it's kind of an indication that the books are like I don't we don't know who's gonna win. Could be anybody. Can you bet on, on where? Oh, DraftKings. Depends. They usually do have, like if they say, deposit a hundred bucks and we'll give you a hundred bucks. Like you can't withdraw that money right away. I think you have to play a certain amount of, I think you have to pl play a hundred dollars worth of stuff. Whatever the roll, it's called a rollover. That you'd have to look. I don't, I think it depends on whatever promo they're running at the time. But there is like a minimum amount required 
to either bet or to wait before you can even withdraw it. Now, if nice Evan Carter from the silver pack, but if you don't do any promo, if you just with, just put in your own like ten bucks, put a put a bet on a basketball game and you win that night, then you could withdraw it like the next day or something like that. I think that that's, for the DraftKings betting it should be like that. Nice purple Anthony Rizzo, to seventy five. That'll be for Michael and the Yankees. Right, exactly, Rex. You're, you're, you're precisely right. The money they, they give you for the promo, yeah, there, there'll be some requirements. Either you have to spend a certain amount over a certain amount of time or whatever to, to, get, to get that back. But it should be spelled out pretty clearly in the, in the uh, T's and C's. All right, there you go, gang. Done and done. I don't think there was anything to randomize. All, all, these, all these were just base. So that'll just be evenly distributed, distributed, distributed between those three teams on whatever teams are on those cards. Let's do a quick recap. There was the nice Emerson Hancock. Some Ellie Dela Cruz's. Austin Wells. I like those team logo, that nice home field advantage. Shoei Otani, that was to 75. And of course, a nice postseason Corbin Carroll, 23 out of 25. That went to Ross and the Diamondbacks in Pick Your Team 8. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Thanks for watching. Thanks for breaking with us. And I'll see you next time for the next one. Bye-bye.